I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game, so it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. Right, I'd actually better very quickly get into fractals because we've got to get these dailies done um, before we are done. It's Cliffside, Twilight Oasis, and Chaos. Okay, so the fractals are actually quick. That's the, that is the good news. Anyway, did I need to do anything on this fractal? I did not. So we have to do all the dailies. Then we have to do Underground Facility Challenge Mode, Aetherblade Challenge Mode, Mitrin Tier 4 on Timed. And then we also have to do Mitrin Boss. We'll get the Fractal page. Then the Jungle Worm Omelette. Okay. Uh, which is Swampland. Then we have to do Urban Battleground. And then we have to do Molten Furnace. So quite a lot of stuff. That is okay. 25 new beetle races in the tunnel. It's true. Oh, nice. We actually have Rex Swamp. That's perfect uh, because I actually need Swamp for my jungle worm omelette. Okay. So let's see. What does it want me to actually do here? Um, uh, bring it to the Mossman's hut in the Swampland Fractal. Okay. Where, uh, where is that, though, actually? That's a good question. I wonder if it's in this area. It must be in the next part, right? Because the Moss Man spawns later on. Wait, maybe it is here, though, actually. Maybe he has a little hut. I'm not paying attention, apparently. Yeah. It could be at the end of the boss as well, actually. Because I know that the that Bloom Hunger and Moss Man... They, the thing is, they both used to be the end boss, right? Uh, but then eventually, it kind of got changed into the new swamp, where it's kind of both of them all the time. The Moss Man is here, and then the Moss Man, you find him as a mini-boss before the main boss. Ah, oh, after Bloomhunger, apparently. Interesting. All right, nice. All right, where is the Moss Man hut? That is the question. Oh, oh, tunnel to the Moss Man's hut. Oh, and it takes... Ah, that's interesting. Look, and it takes you over... To the old, yeah, yeah. Look, look, guys. Oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah, check this out. We're uh, we're on the other side. This is the other part of the fractal. There used to be two pathways basically, and one would go to Bloom Hunger, one would go to the Moss Man. Oh, look, the wolf is even here. The Moss Man and the wolf. Very interesting. We've gone through the tunnel. We have the lovely dandelion, and now we need to go get the omelet. Interact. The crazy cook says he wants an egg. An egg from a great jungle worm. Offer the egg. There we go. We have jungle worm omelette. Moss man style. I think I have to consume it. Um, yeah. I, yeah. Consume to add it to the collection. Yeah, so we actually have to eat the egg. Right, there we are. Eat. And that actually gives us a buff, too. We actually get... A, wait, can you just do that infinitely? I guess you can do that infinitely for this weird... Fractal buff. Interesting. Oh, 496 hours. Can I have my second legendary? Oh, there's a portal originally. Can we get a second legendary before 500 hours? I think the answer to that question is yes. Dude, these are some insane strats. Holy shit, who are these people? This is the most in unhinged fractal pug ever. He's doing some kind of crazy skip. Trying to port to it, I think, with Shiro. Uh, can I mark it? No, I mean, I I can't. This is not a squad. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. I wish I had the portal. Yeah. Do I already have the mats? I mean, I, I mean, if I sold stuff, I do, yeah. I'm just trying to avoid selling things if I can. Rip. Yeah, and I don't have the portal. I, I cannot do it. That's not going to happen, because I do not have the white mantle pool device. We have the stealth. No. Boom. Let's go. Yes. 
onwards. Do it and leave them behind. I guess that's another option. So I have 54 gold right now, and I think I need about 250. Uh, so I need to find 250 gold in account value. Now, I do have 165 laurels, and I have 22,000 uh, volatile magic. I also have loads of eternal ice shards, which I can get more volatile magic with. And I also have 341 Tyrian uh, defense seals. I actually think I am going to be able to pull this off. I believe I can get it within four hours of gameplay. Should be very realistic, I think. It's going to be tight. It might actually be a 499 situation. Um, 499 hours. But I think if I am smart, I will actually be able to attain all the materials with that. And here's the thing. It would be trivial because, look, guys, I have um, 86 antique summoning stones. So, yeah, sell that. Job done, obviously. Uh, but I don't want to do that. Uh, I want to actually keep those because I want to make a Gen 3 legendary weapon at some point. So I don't want to burn them until I'm over 100. Um, as of right now, I'm just going to be saving those up. Right, let's attempt Dragon's End Leech. That is what it's time for. Uh, do I need anything else from Fractals? I do, but I'll probably do it post-reset at this point. Ooh, this is not the map. End of Dragons. Oh no! This is bad. Ah, oh, it's full! Hang on, wait. We're going to do an epic gamer move here. We need... Nico, leave and add me. Add me. This will be such a disgusting leech if I can do this. Oh, man. <sighs> Let's go. Our comm just DC'd. Okay. Oh, it's full. No, there's no way. I'm out. I am blocked. I have been denied, unfortunately. That was, you know, that, that was an attempt, right? That was an attempt. Spam joy. No, it's over, guys. It's it's over. It's over. I'll tell you what, though. Let's go and actually... Maybe let's crunch some currencies. Let's see where we are. Let's see how much gold we actually need. Whoa. There's a door. Enjoy. Okay. Ooh. Wait. Drakkar? Oh, Drakkar is going. Drakkar... Ooh. Drakkar could be a massive high roll, potentially. So let's see. We can maybe get this event going. I'll maybe do that in just a moment. Uh, we can salvage this ring oh that's that's huge that's actually huge oh wow look at that guys i got a five gold salvage that's so good from fractals we got 21 matrices nice fractal redemption right there and we can sell those those are we don't need those anymore i don't think okay so now we're just gonna buy mistborn moats and just max out on these just go as hard as we can. Volatile magic consume. And that's going to give us... How much is that? We're on 22k right now. It's going to give us an extra 5k. Not bad. We can probably get up to around 30k. And we've got another round of fractals to go to. Oh, and we can do Drakkar for even more. I'll tell you what. I'll tag up for this Drakkar. I might as well get this done. This is a decent event. Ooh, I should do Drakkar. Then the Jade puzzle as well. Like the Jade runes. Because I actually don't need Jade runes anymore for my Gen 3. Um, oh, huh, Mrs. Mara. That's, uh, Lexu, yep. Okay, let's get in the LFG for this. Ice Brood Saga. Oh, oh, hang on. Well, there's a cheer group. And we're in. Nice, great. Yes. 18% Drakkar Leech. And here it comes. Are you guys ready? The Draconic Lodestone. This is it. The Amalgamated Draconic Lodestone is about to drop live. For 10 gold from a single event. Get ready for it. Here we go. Kill it. I'm participating. I'm contributing to this encounter. Huge. Here comes the drop. Got it. It's just that easy. That was a leech, by the way. That was a leech as well. I admit that. I'm not going to pretend it wasn't. Instant 10 gold in business. 
We've got some more eternal ice shards too. It's more volatile magic. Let's make that happen. Here we go. Let's do volatile magic. Okay. More of these. Oh, well, I can't get that many more, but 20 more is not that. It's not nothing. Okay. So now that we're up to 6, 7 gold, I think it's time... Wait, do I have any... Yeah, we just got big laurels today, so... Yeah, we're just gonna do some... Yeah, we're gonna do, do go do the uh, jumping puzzle thing. Maybe I... Okay, right. Because that was so rigged, I'm gonna attempt to leech back into this map. Let's just... Let's just have another go. Let's have another go. If we can break into this dragon's end, this could be huge. I'm gonna see if we can break in. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that was that was too good to be true. No, no, we. I think we give up on this. You know, that was. You know, I can't. We've already gone too far. We've already leached. We don't leech any further. This is a big full map, a deep full map. Um, okay, and tell you what, I will go do the Zendajun stuff, and maybe we can get some. We can get those Jade Rune stones. We can get a big high roll here. It is Jade Runestone time. Alright, let's go. Oh, chest. Yeah, I do want to open these, because these actually can drop the runestones too. So, they do have some value attached to them. I will high roll. Watch this. Okay, you know, maybe... Is this all it takes? So I'd have to say that I'm going to get something and I just get it? I will get nine Jade Runestones. Prepare yourselves. I will get nine runestones. It will happen. <laughs> then where's the other one? What the hell? I can't find the red one. I give up. It's impossible. It can't be done. We haven't got long, actually. We only have half an hour. Then it's reset again. There's time some nice fractals. Right, give me that thing. Give me this chest. Right, here's the next boss. It's right over here. Well, they're actually already fighting it. Let's go quickly get in on the action. Here we go. Oh, it's at 100%. Oh, someone is trying to solo it. I like that. That's ambitious. Get him up. This one has quite a lot of health. The Ritualist seems to be the squishiest one. And if we if we can get even if we can get six. If I can manage to get six, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna be happy with it. If I can get nine, then. You should be angry at me. If I get nine here and you aren't mad, something's wrong with you. 11%. Here we go. You're a formidable adversary. Intolerable, but formidable. Yeah, we are. And there you have it. Job done. Uh, I looted the chest. Let's get in there. Okay. This is it. The moment of truth. How many did I get there? I need, I need to scroll a little bit. Come on, scroll down. Show me how many I got. I wasn't looking. Wait, how many did I get? I don't even know. One? Oh. Imperfect. And one again. Well, we didn't mega high roll, but we do have 17 of these that we can just sell. So we have that going for us. I don't need any more. We only need 100, at least for the time being. Okay, um, I'm going to attempt another Dragon's End attempted leech. They're on the boss by now, I'd say. Let's see if we can make it happen. I'm in. Yeah. I am in. It really is that easy. This is probably the dirtiest open world session I've had in a long time. This is absolutely putrid. I don't believe this. I've skipped the entire pre-event. Yeah. <laughs> 
And by pre-event, I mean the pre-event and also 60% of the boss. Yeah. And you know what? Gamers, this doesn't count as leeching. And let me explain why. Let me explain why. Because I tried to get in the entire time, and I'm fully contributing when I'm in. Okay? Leeching would be if I joined and then put zero effort in and did nothing. This is not leeching. I am participating. I am, I'm in fact, I am participating as much as I possibly can. I simply could not get into the map previously. So I'm actually doing my best here. 1%. And we win. Oh. We win. We win. We win. Nice. Okay. Okay. No. No high roll. But that would have been, you know, that would have been out of hand. As the gemstone, up to 87. Nearly actually have the full 100. We can actually just sell these. Ooh, look how juicy that is. Look how juicy that is. Five gold, nice. Time wall spent. I'll sell these rune stones too. Undercut by one copper. Okay. That's not bad. I think it's time to... Let's actually see where we're at with all this tier 6. Right, so let's go and... Let's go and use our laurels. Excellent work, team. Keep leading, Commander. Keep it up. Okay, so first order of business. Laurel vendor. Uh, I need exactly tier 6 materials. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy... Spend all my laurels on heavy crafting bags. There's not really anything I'm going to need laurels for uh, outside of this, really. You can use it to get ascended, but to be honest, I'm a little past this point now. This is a very bad deal. 35 laurels for one of these. I can get these way easier. There's basically no reason for me uh, to do this because I simply have far superior ways of getting these things. Uh, I'm not really planning on doing any crafting either, so I'm not really worried about that. And obviously, laurels eventually come back anyway. So burn them all. 165 crafting bags. You get three tier six each out of these, which is pretty substantial. So as you can see here, the tier six are piling up. There we go. I think these are worth about half a gold each. And look, you can see that we need 250 uh, of each of these. We have a few of them already just from our various adventures. And you can see here that we're actually up to a very healthy amount already. That's going to put us up to eh, about one third of the way there, maybe a, a, a touch over one third of the way there. And while we wait for daily reset, I think I will just go ahead and uh, do something else. And doing something else is going to be what? It's going to be volatile magic processing. It is. Ah, thanks for the Zerdio Saga. It's always... Oh, man. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Glad you enjoy. It's always awesome to see all the positive feedback. We all love the Zero to Hero. That's okay. I do too. So we have that in common. It's a good start. Season 4, Portal Tome. We're going to Istan. Let's see how much we get here. This should be pretty good, I think. Yeah. Felt even though it's NA Prime. Don't, that's okay. Don't be discouraged by that. You know, the event is challenging and, you know, you, you, it may, you know you've got to improve your skills at leading and eventually it will always win. Ooh, we actually can't spend all of our Volatile Magic. Yeah, I'm actually going to uh, completely have no gold after this. I will probably... Let's just do 90 for now. Uh, because I don't want to completely, you know, not be able to waypoint or something. Okay, and look at that. Yeah, now we're looking good. Yes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So you can see that's another uh, 900... Uh, another 100 or so. So we're really close, actually. We are very, very close. In fact, if I get the rest of these Trover shipments, I think we're done. I think we actually have enough tier six. And this is the power of those currencies, right? Ooh, yeah. And check this out. If we go here now, let's go to Eye of the North, because I just remembered we're not done. We have these. Um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's check this out. I do have two gold. Listen, don't laugh at my two gold, okay? Come on. And you shouldn't be worried about having a low amount of gold. Gold is good because it gives you some immediate flexibility with being able to buy stuff. But at the end of the day, gold is for spending. Right? I'm serious. I, I know that sounds like a meme, but gold is for spending. Um, right, here we go. We can get 13 of code and supply boxes. And again, this has got all those 
lovely tier six in. We've got the bloods and the scales and the dusts here and venom sacks, totems and so on. So let's see. I mean, this is these are very swingy, very RNG-ish, but I think we've actually kind of magicked our way. We've kind of magicked our way into nearly being done. You can see that we have 204 uh, elaborate totems here. We do still need those ectos, uh, but that's fine. Yeah, 204 of those. We only got a few tier six, but actually we can sell some stuff now. Let's get rid of these exotics. I think I still have some stuff selling, right? Yeah, my runestones and memories haven't sold yet. So I actually have a few things that I haven't sold. Yeah, yeah, this is totally free. Uh, oh, wow. This is actually free. You know, yesterday I was like, oh, man, it's going to be one hell of a grind to get all of that gold. But yeah, now I will be able to make the legendary backpack. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stay up and do it. We'll be able to do that, no problem. That is easy. Easy. No problem. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let's get going. I will actually just start the fragiles now. We can sell some more stuff later. Okay. Uh, right. Fractals. Here we go. Pugging at reset is pretty good, actually, because, and I'll tell you why, I'll tell you a little secret. Um, a lot of the sweaty lot, uh, sweaty lot, they actually pug at reset. So if you pug at reset, you're probably going to get um, a better than average group because it's where all the uh, sweat lords do it. Right. Fractals. Let's see if we got pugs. Tier 4 daily healer lack. Wait, where is everyone? Wait, what the hell happened? Um, I guess the groups will fill pretty quick, right? So it's going to be tier 4 plus uh, Rex. Yeah, we'll start that and then yeah, we'll do tier 4 plus Rex and I'm going to force them to do the achievement. Funnily enough, actually, my fractal level is only 99. Um, but now someone else can open it. Right. Okay. So we're full. We're good to go. And, I mean, I guess we'll just start with 100. That seems like a good place to start. And that will actually boost my fractal level to 100. We're finally actually maxing it out. Nice. Captain Mitre and Boss. Ooh, I will enable the challenge mode here. Although, actually, do you have to? I don't think you have to, right? Because it's just a... I think it's like a standard timer. I think I'll get it automatically, I think. So it shouldn't be necessary. Uh, or do do I have to enable it? What does it what does it say? Um, complete the Mitren time challenge. Beat Mitren in under twenty five minutes. What well, it's last laugh stick together and misconvert. That's fine, yeah. Maybe it just starts automatically when you fight the boss. I think it starts when you fight the boss. We shall see. Oh, I think I also need to give someone a book here, don't I? Yeah, I do. The Eighth Wave Research at the end of the Mitre and Boss Fractal. Yes, embrace the book. Right, let's go. Onwards. It's going to blow everything in. Get a reflect up. Nice. There we go. We have now completed the Fractal with the challenge mode completed. Nice. It will just, when the actual Fractal completes, we should get it. Oh, no, it's already got it. Ah, yeah, it looks like someone actually does need the achievement. We talked to the Field Researcher. Give this gamer a book. And I think we're in business. Good. So we are really nearly done with that collection now. The dailies were kind of kind to us, weren't they? We got the things that we were looking for. Uh, so yeah, now we all we need is to do a... Yeah, let's do a few extra fractals after this. We need to do underground facility. Uh, urban battleground. And then I think it was molten furnace after that. They kill that one. This one's dead. Nice. Rack is done. I will make another group for uh, add, infin uh, add infinitum stuff. Because otherwise these guys are like, wait, why are we doing more fractals? What are you talking about? We'll make another group. And then we're going for it. I need some help. Wait. Wait. You, you've you got to be kidding me. I need some help with add infinitum tier 4. Is anyone want to help? Yes. Uh, what do you need? That's actually insane. This guy actually needs it. The Elephant Man. The mech actually needs that shit, dude. That's actually crazy. This is good. We get to actually help the mech as well. For helping us. Look, this is big. Because the mech helped us get energy dispersal. And we will now help the mech. Underground challenge mode. Okay. Need it too. Oh, this guy needs it as well. Okay, good. Uh, I mean, I guess we can do underground. Gift of wood thing. Okay. Okay. When, wait, shouldn't we need the same thing? We probably should, because we did the same thing. And urban. Okay, 
We do all. Easy. Right, I will actually get a reinforcement player. Uh, and then we go. Uh, let's see. It's going to be ad infinitum. And it's going to be uh, underground. And then it's going to be... What was that? It's underground challenge mode. Then we're doing urban. And then furnace. I'm actually impressed. I'm, you know, I'm a little impressed with myself how quickly you've got this done. There are some, you know, I do like collections in Guild Wars 2. Collections are good. The gameplay ones are. I don't like the ones where you have to run around pressing F a lot. I think that is really bad. But the ones that actually are gameplay oriented, where you have to go and do various challenges like jumping puzzles, um, you know, fighting world bosses, all that kind of stuff, that is good. Um, that is the good stuff. I think it really adds some good structure to the game. A lot of the time, rewards in Guild Wars 2 are just so mushy, right? They're, you're not getting anything. Um, you're just getting like a sea of worthless junk items, pretty much. Um, but having collections, it really feels like you have that progression of actually collecting things, rather than just selling a bunch of junk and then buying what you want, which I don't think is anywhere near as interesting as um, collection-style stuff. 498 hours. Have I been overconfident? Is that what this is? Have I been an overconfident gamer? Let's have a look here. Um, Ascalonian Woodcutter. At the end of Urban Battleground Fractal. Alright, these ones down next. I have 36 gold and 5,000 volatile magic. How much do the ectos I need cost? So I, I need 207. That's 28 gold. I can just buy that now. I'm buying my ectos. 207 gold. So now all we need is tier 6. We're multitasking. Oh, and I have 35 gold. Yeah, that should easily be enough to finish the job, especially with that Voltar magic. Yep, we're done. We are done, team. And damn, does it feel good. The legendary backpack is within my grasp. Doing strikes? I probably will do strikes, yeah, but I think after the backpack. Well, could, I could do it before the backpack. If we want to, do we want to play it, you know, do we want to have a little fun? You know, a little, uh, make it a little exciting? We could do that. We could keep it interesting. Nice, done, and it's over here. So I have an hour and 45 minutes. So we have to give this guy. I'll spare you if you enchant my legendary gift of wood. Okay, you've been spared. I now have lessons in arbology. And it's pretty impressive how Dredge can go into the ground like that. Do you not think? He's just digging into solid concrete. Nice. We're not going home. And here it is. This is the final piece in the puzzle for me. The Dredge workbench. Unfinished weapons are strewn across the workplace. It looks like molten engineers are combining flame legion and Dredge technology. Use some random tools lying on the bench on your gift of metal. Well, apparently that did the trick. There it is. We are done with the entire collection. Ho ho, yeah. Pretty nice. I have to go now. Thanks for the help. Oh, that's bad. Um, we might not be able to finish the job for this guy. Hephaestus Silvers. Uh, done. Uh, I am done. Do you need anything else? I'm willing. I think we should try and help this guy. He helped us. We'll see if we can help out this game. And we've got a little bit of spare time before we need to craft. Let's see. Oh. I'll work on it later. Uh, we can... Um, I can help. I don't mind. Uh, but if you are sure. That's okay. Um, I just unlocked it. Uh, well, we can do the tier 4 one, maybe. Uh, my turn. Easy. 
He's declining. I'm not going to let him wriggle away. He will be helped. Okay, boom. He said sure. I will help this player. They have no choice in the matter. You're being helped. Do not resist. Yeah, I just feel bad. You know, this guy is missing out on the collection. And that displeases me. Right, here we go. Not too bad. And hey, free gold for me, right? So, I'm not gonna say no. But here it is. So we have our... Let's line this up. We have Gift of Infinity. We have Unbound, the Precursor. A Gift of Ascension. And now all we need is that Gift of Fortune, which is a Gen 1 Legendary component. So, and we bought the Ectos. I've already got the Ectos. So all we need is a little bit of Tier 6. That's it. Whenever I do... I'll be honest. Whenever I do this one... I just hit it and pray. I don't know what the actual mechanic is. Uh, lure her into a uh, lightning bomb to remove shield. Easy. I mean, that, it's not exactly a complicated mechanic. The player now knows. You get icon on your head if lightning will target you. There we go. We have explained. The player now... Whoa! That thing just destroyed me. The player now has the critical information. I think we've done a good deed here. I'm going to focus on healing. I'm not going to do anything stupid. No Ooga Booga. This is definitely one of those fragments where you can die. So it makes sense to not get too greedy. Yeah, this is a I, this is definitely a little bit lower DPS than our previous group, but we had those two big blast of virtuosos, which we no longer have, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh boy, yeah, yeah, people are kind of in kind of in the jungle here. This is maybe a little bit more representative of your average pug. Things are a little messy, a little scuffed. I feel like I'm putting in some work here. You know, we're working for this one. We are working for this, guys. You know what? It's worth it. It's worth it. To get Hephaestus Silvers. The legendary backpack. That's what we're all here for, gamers. Got it. Oh my god. It's crazy. We got there in the end. Whew. That was a little intense, was it not? And yeah, 49827. So we could even uh, do a few more to help out here, I think. After 10 years, I finally completed Ad Infinitum. Nice. I know, you know, it took you a while, but you got there in the end. Tie tie. Okay. Nice. I think everyone is leaving now. But you know what? We helped a little bit. And that, to be fair, that, to be fair, is probably one of the ones that you might get stuck on. I feel like the other ones, that's pretty easy. Um, well, I guess everyone's gone. I was, I would, I was gonna help more, right? I'm down to help more. And that guy, he was, he was too nice. He did not want to delay us. Fair enough. Okay, let's move on. And now we're in the final stages. I just need to go to a trading post, and we can evaluate what we got to do. We, you know. If I go, if I want to go for the, the meme play, I go for a full strike run right now. Should I do it? Full daily ice brood saga strikes. Will be spicy. Yeah. Will be spicy. And there's the 45 gold. We have the Ectos. You know what? I might go, I might do strikes, guys. I can't. We need to. We not. We kind of need to keep this exciting. I think. All right, we're doing strikes, but it has to be good and it has to be fast. This is big strikes. Okay, let's go. Chat, get in here. We're doing it. Full ice brood saga strike mission run, speed edition. Has to be good. Perma gold on everything. I'm going to play heal. I'm not even going to play hybrid here. I'm going to play heal and we're going big. And then we're making the legendary. Let's do it. Yep. But it has to be juicy. And it's going to be Ice Brood 5, Dragon Storm, and then Daily Harvest Temple. Yep. Daily Harvest Temple to follow it up. 
Uh, strike mission. Here we go. Shear Peaks Pass. I'm in Selly gear, yes, but I will diversify pretty soon. In theory, I have the time to do this. Uh, strike missions. Ice Brood Saga 5 plus DS plus EOD daily. That's rock and roll. Right, three. Oh. We can just use the shrine, guys. Embrace the shrine. I almost want to go now. We need to get some pace going on here. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. It, when it goes up to 499 hours, I'm not going to lie, guys, that's going to be a little sweaty. And there you have it. Job done. Nice. We've got to minimize the downtime. We've got to keep up this tempo. One strike down. Nice. Look at this DPS. Yeah, we've got the mech and the hollow pumping pretty hard. Oh. Oh, no. Unfortunately, this poor old player has disconnected. Less than ideal. Hopefully they come back. We need players. We need everyone here. This should definitely be a gold group on Whisper. If we don't get the first Defiance Bar on um, Bone Skinner, I will be sad. Although, what has happened to our 10th? Um, our 10th our is gone. Oh, they made it here now, though. We're going to do Bow of Truth here. Uh, Bow of Truth and the Aegis should be able to ignore most of the mechanics. Ah, Untamed. Excellent choice. I believe. I believe in this team. Let's see. No. Oh. Oh my god. My, uh, my alacrity died to the first thing. Are you kidding me? That's just sad. We actually failed the CC. Unfortunate. Gonna Aegis this attack. Just for everyone. Get that revive. Big heal, mega empower, let's go. Get that going down. Well, we are going to get the kill. A little bit messy. Few feeds here and there. A little bit of feeding, guys. Just a little bit of inting. But you know what? It's the spice of life, is it not? There we are, nice. Still got gold. Gold reward. Just a quick strike full clear. No big deal. Look at this, 275 gold though. Man, like that volatile magic was huge. It was huge. Yeah, the damage is looking nicer. Whisper should be a very easy gold. Well, I mean, we could just go for the... <coughs> we could almost just go for the kill here, I think. Excuse me. Getting a little bit, you know, a little bit tired over here. The energy is waning. I will be fine. We can easily outheal this. We have the damage. Then it's Whisper, then Dragonstorm, then EOD. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. We're fine, guys. It doesn't... Look, it's not even saying... It doesn't even say... Um, 499 hours. Okay. This is actually too easy. It's impossible to fail. Priority strike. Done. Nice. Next, Whisper. If we don't get gold here, I do consider this group a failure. We have to think about that. Nice. Okay, strike mission, Whisper, boom. Oh yeah, damage is good here, 180k. Need about 140k average to make this happen. Of course, it will go down a little bit, but it will accelerate as well because of the defiance bar that we get. Yeah. So I think we're good to go here. Once we get the Defiance Bar, things will accelerate because you just get free damage on the boss, but the boss, of course, also takes a lot more damage temporarily, and here it comes. Here we go. This is kind of the moment of truth. If you get Big Burst here, you're looking good on gold. We actually are a little ahead of schedule. 150 KD visits. It's going to be a little bit close, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be quite close. Doable. This is what I like about the gold on this one. It actually is a little bit spicy. It's not totally free. Need to give Scholar back to some of these players. Oh, they are killing each other with the chains. Classic. Absolute classic. Okay, the boss is about to move out. Okay, 10% in 30 seconds. We do have quite a lot of ranged DPS, so I don't hate it, you know, because of course, because the um, Hollow Smith here is melee, but it's okay because they still have the grenades. They can still keep up a lot of damage, actually. Oh yeah, Nico got me and you got the green there. Oh, and yeah, the chains are killing him. Oh yeah, you're dead. Ten seconds though. It should be free. There we go, we got it. Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. 
Not even close. Okay, good. Next strike mission done. Right, next up is Dragonstorm. It's still not 4999. Uh, so, look. Pff, pff. <laughs> Easy. Easy daily strikes. Yeah, this is a decent, this is a nice dragon song group. This is dying very quickly, as you can see. Okay, nice. And I think we're basically done here. Yeah, we are. And that, it's still on, wait, it's still, oh yeah, we're 50, wow, this is, this is really good, actually, yeah. This is about, this is gonna be sub 10 minutes, I think. Very good. And I'm in position for the good old action key there. All right, and then a Harvest Temple, uh, cheeky one after this, then we're good to go. And then it's Legendary Crafting time. Look, I told you I would deliver on it, and we have. Very nice. Very, very nice. Good. Let's see. Ooh. It's been a while since I've had a high roll. I feel like I deserve a high roll. I deserve the infusion right now. It will pay for my next Legendary. But it actually won't. I would put it in the Guild Bank. I'm not allowing high rolls on this run. Nice. Gamers, I don't believe it. It act I mean, it's not a full high roll, but gamers, another amalgamated draconic lodestone. I got one from Drakkar, and I now I get one from Dragonstorm in the same run, and another, and a big uh, roll on the matrices as well. I will take that. I don't need to sell it though. I will. I did sell a few of those, I know, but I will actually save that because I don't need to sell it and I need it for a Gen 3. I need those for Gen 3, so we're going to hold on to those. And you know, I'm just going to keep dropping those. I'm going to. I'm not actually going to buy any of those. I'm just going to actually farm them. Good account. And here we go. Harvest Temple. And that's it. Oh, no high roll. Oh, yeah, we GG. More shards. I have 150 green shards. How many blue have I got? 400, yeah. That's actually a decent amount of ascended gear. More green shards. And that is it. Good job, team. We are still... Wait. Oh, oh yeah. It hasn't updated. But yeah, it will go to 499 at the next update. I have one hour remaining to craft my legendary backpack. So let's go ahead and get to it. That's it. So first things first, I guess let's go and grab a few, uh, a few more of those shards, right? I have... All the eternal ice shards now, so I can go ahead and do that. Yeah, well, this I'm going to maximize all of the free tier six I can get. But actually, yeah, we just need the more volatile magic. Get that volatile magic done, and that will pretty much be all of it. There we are. Okay, and we can get another. Ooh, nice, another fifty. That's very juicy, actually. You can really see uh, doing Drakkar and, of course, doing strikes. You get a lot of those shards. That's another one k volatile magic. So now we have the gold to purchase our additional trophy shipments. So let's make that happen. Yeah, first legendary was the amulet. It was the return to. I did all the return to stuff. Seriously, the return to is insane. Um, how much value I got. Because not only was it good gold per hour, it also just got me a free legendary. Oh, 29 of these things. Wait, that's going to almost finish it, I think. Oh, yeah. This is going to be huge. 29. Yeah, that's nearly it. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just deposit all of that. That's easy. So, remember we need 250 of each for our uh, gift of fortune. So we need 250 of these. We need six more blood, 31 bones, um, 213 vicious claws, piles of, uh, we need no dust. We're done on totems as well, so we need some venoms. Let's go. Let's just withdraw all of these. And I'll tell you what, uh, seeing as we are here, I guess what we can do is we can actually promote some of these materials. So we'll use our spirit shards to get the final way. So how does this work? Basically, we need philosopher's stones here. It's a mystic forge recipe where we can take some of our tier five materials uh, alongside some dust some tier six dust, um, some tier six materials, and spirit shards by buying Philosopher's Stones and actually upgrade these materials. So we can get a few of them kind of on the cheap here, basically. We'll end up buying the rest of these, but we can get some of these on the cheap, essentially. So I'll just use 10 spirit shards for some Philosopher's Stones. And we're going to use all the excess dust. So we can do, because we only need 250, we can use 37 of this dust. So in other words, we can do seven rounds of upgrades to get ourselves some free tier six. Well, when I say free, I mean 
some discounted tier six, basically. So here we go. Let's do it for let's do it for the blood first, because that will we only need to do this once. So we do this. Boom, boom, boom in the forge. Click the button. So as you can see, it uses 50 tier five, one tier six, five tier six dust, and five philosopher's stones. Forge. Oh. Wow, we actually kind of low rolled there and only got five, but that's okay. We can go again. I think on average it's about seven. But yeah, fun fact, this actually is profitable to do. Very boring, obviously, but in fact, there's a lot of stuff in the Mystic Forge that you can do that can actually generate you a lot of gold. Um, upgrading materials, um, throwing things, runes together and stuff like this. You can actually make gold by doing this stuff. Right, there we are. Forge, and there we are. We are now maxed out on blood. And we'll do another five of these. Let's do... I don't know. Let's, let's do fangs. Let's do claws. We haven't got that many of those. Let's get some claws. Large claw. This. Dust. Boom. Ah, nice. We got 12. Great. That's really good. So we can just hit the refill button. And... Uh, go again, right? Yep. Forge. Only got five there. Okay. Right. Again. Oh, five again? You hate to see it. Boom. Five again? I, I regret doing this. And that's actually going to be all of the claws we can do because we don't have enough um, tier five. Oh, no, we have some more material storage, actually, so we can just continue. And that's actually the last conversion. Ooh, a 12. Redemption. Yeah, so that's all we can do. Because you can see here that we actually don't have any more dust. So that's it. A little bit of a trick you can do if you want to, I don't know, be ever so slightly more efficient. Uh, and now I think it's going to be a simple case of just buying the remainder of these materials. I don't think we need to do anything super fancy. Let's go ahead and start buying us. I got the three claws first. Three claws. Easy. How about some venom sacks. We need 31. Okay. We need 31 bones. That's a weird coincidence, isn't it? 31 bones. Ooh. I'm down to two gold. Let's go ahead and pick up all of that stuff. Lovely. So now we just need to finish this. We need 25 fangs. Okay. Three gold. And then 20 armored scales. And that's it. Okay, and I have never crafted this. I do not have this on my main account, by the way. I do not have this on my main account. So bear that in mind. This will be the first time I have ever crafted this legendary backpack, and all that remains is to assemble our Gift of Fortune. That is it. Uh, so we have our Gift of Infinity. Uh, we have our Unbound. We have a Gift of Incension. So just the Gift of Fortune is required here. So let's get to work on that. And that, we need 200, the recipe for this is 250 globs of ectoplasm, one, uh, 77 mystic clovers. We got these from doing our return to achievements, right? So when we were getting our first legendary amulet and just playing the game for the first time, we were gathering up these. We also got a lot of these from daily logins. Bear in mind, you get seven of these per month from that and a little bit of world versus world on the side as well. Did I ever, oh yeah, I did, yeah. I, you know, I did finish my reward track. Uh, and then finally, we need a gift of might and a gift of magic. And that's what these tier six materials are for. We go over here and you can see we select this. It's going to be this stuff. This is going to be one gift. This will be the gift of magic, I think. Gift of magic. And then the gift of might is the remaining tier six materials. The bones, the claws, the fangs, and the scales. And there you have it. We have our Gift of Might, our Gift of Magic, 250 globs of ectoblasms, and our clovers. So put these in now into the forge. And there is the Gift of Fortune. Fun fact, I think you can you can salvage this and it breaks it down again. Don't worry, it doesn't delete it. It will... <laughs> I'm almost scared to do it. I know, I know, I know that works, by the way, but I'm still, still scared to do it. Ha <laughs> ha. But yeah, you can break it up again if you want to, if you change your mind, I guess, or something like that. Uh, but there we go. That is all of it. And yeah, 35 clovers. So we're basically good to go on another legendary after this if you want to. Well, a Gen 3, which is kind of my plan. We're good to go on that. But let's do it. Let's place this into the forge. There we are. Gift of Ascension, our Unbound, Gift of Infinity from all the collections. And here we go. 
at, let's see what the time is, how much time we got left. 499 hours, 15 minutes over the past 234 days. We are going to get our second legendary item all sorted out. Let's do it. Let's hit the forge button. And there it is. Ad infinitum. Log 18,204. Losing transmission. Something went wrong. I'm stranded. I'm stuck in fractal. Floating. The whole island is floating. They call themselves forgotten. Forgotten trees. I see someone. Can you hear me? Wow. Ominous role play there. But that is it. Another legendary setup. And... This is kind of the benchmark I'm setting. I think this might be too easy. I might have to increase the difficulty of this as we go. Maybe, maybe within 750 hours, all legendary trinkets, maybe. I need to, it might have to be 800, because 250 hours from now is a little spicy to get all of it done, I think, because there's a fair bit of grinding uh, on that in gold. Oh, is that doable? It's got to be. If I'm not complete trash, that's doable, right? Um, but anyway, I'm going to have a goal on getting all of the legendary, uh, trinkets sorted. So I have infinite trinkets for all of my characters, uh, just across everything, which will make gearing a lot easier. But here it is. Let's make it happen. We have our legendary back piece. We never need another back piece. This is a really nice unlock. In fact, the back piece is potentially the, uh, one of the most useful things that you can actually have as a legendary because back pieces are typically a bit of a pain to get, uh, in general. In fact, fun fact, at the beginning of End of Dragons, having a legendary was the only way to actually get a ritualist back piece. There was no ritualist back piece in the game. How about that? But yeah, really nice. Amulet and back piece are really good combos. We just need rings and accessories. And of course, the rest of the gear there as well. But that is it. Legendary number two locked in and sorted at 499 hours. There it is. Ah, yes. Yes. Easy.